This video is sponsored by Celestial Labs, the first modular blockchain network. Data availability. Data availability. Data availability. Data availability. Data availability. What is it? Data availability is key to blockchains and especially modular ones, but a lot of people get it wrong. So what is data availability and why is it so important? Data availability and blockchains are key for these three reasons. One is accessibility, two is transparency, and three is immutability. Think of data availability like recording a soccer game. Imagine a popular soccer team is playing a game, but not everyone has time to watch the game in person. Luckily, TV networks record and broadcast the game. This allows people to watch the game later and replay footage when there's a controversial foul. Data availability is like the TV network that records and broadcasts the game. This ensures that anyone can replay the blockchain's history and watch an instant replay when someone is suspected of breaking the rules. So in a blockchain context, data availability refers to the ability of blockchain networks and participants are able to access and retrieve data that has been recorded on the blockchain. It ensures that the information is stored on a blockchain and is accessible, transparent, and immutable for all participants in the network. So data availability is key for blockchains and decentralization. And in this video, we'll go over what data availability isn't and three common misconceptions, a deep dive into why data availability matters, requirements to make data availability, how specialized DA layers like Celestia can help, and levels of security for data availability. To find out what data availability is, let's first understand what data availability isn't and three common misconceptions. First is data availability is not for data validation. Data availability is for making sure that data is available. But for modular blockchains, DA layers don't actually verify if the data is accurate. This means data availability layers like Celestia don't actually execute or validate any data. So Celestia isn't a smart contract platform or a settlement layer. It scales through publishing data and letting users decide for themselves execution and settlement. Like in the soccer analogy, it records and broadcasts the game and lets you decide the execution, like the rules for a foul play, and settlement, like the final scoreboard. The second misconception is that data availability is data storage. Data availability is about publicly publishing new relevant data specific to blockchains for others to verify the chains themselves. This data is merkleized and ordered on the blockchain and includes transaction and state data. And to go with that, data availability does not guarantee data permanence. Although it stores blockchain data, this is only for others to verify themselves. This isn't a long-term storage or archive solution that keeps this data forever. This is because when blockchains get too large, pruning of the state is typical to increase speed and decentralization. So data availability isn't about keeping unordered irrelevant data permanently like decentralized storage solutions or indexers. Decentralized storage solutions like Arweave and Filecoin let you keep anything like cat photos. Back to the soccer analogy, data availability would only record and broadcast the game, but it wouldn't let you record irrelevant data like the TV show afterwards or keep the soccer game video archived forever. Data availability has a specific focus on securing blockchain data, making sure that it's accessible and transparent for everyone. A better name for something like this would be proof of publication. So why does data availability matter? Let's go back to the soccer game broadcast. Now team A and B are playing again, but this time the game is gonna be playing in your hometown. Of course you wanna buy tickets, but turns out the ticket prices are five times higher than usual. You can't afford tickets to the stadium, but you can still watch the game online. But it gets worse. The game isn't going to be streamed. Only people that got to go to the stadium would watch the game. Pretty unfair, isn't it? And anyone that couldn't afford tickets to the game wouldn't be able to watch it from home. So how can you verify what happened? How can you make sure that the refs gave fair treatment if there were any illegal plays or fouls? Well, you can't. So you have to trust the scoreboard after the game has finished. Can you see why data availability matters? Instead of recording and streaming a soccer game, data availability lets anyone check the contents of transactions to see what happened for normal people who don't run validators. And this idea of data availability is key for blockchains. So now that you know what it is, why it matters, and what it isn't, let's see how blockchains give data availability. To create a data availability layer in a blockchain system, there are several requirements. But here are the big ones. Replication and storage, networking and consensus, and incentivization. Replication and storage. This is how many computers, aka nodes, are in your blockchain. There are different replication mechanisms, and some are simple as keeping a full record of the data, some only require state and partial storage, and some include cool erasure coding technology, like in Celestia, which I'll talk about later. Next is networking consensus. 
Blockchains are all replicated databases across multiple computers. So you need something that sends out this new data across the network, and this is called networking. And it requires these computers to agree on what data is getting added. This is called consensus. There are lots of different networking consensus protocols, but Cosmos's Tenorment handles both of them. And last is incentivization. Let's say you have blockchain data that you want to centralize and replicate it all across the world. You need a reason, primarily money, for people to run your nodes. This is in the form of block rewards, inflation, transaction fees, grants, etc. Another thing you have to keep in mind is all blockchains have data availability layers. Regardless of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Cosmos, they all have data availability layers. It's core to blockchains, and blockchains require data availability to work. But this can be expensive, either in the form of incentives, giving out grants, and attracting validators through inflationary rewards, or in the form of DevOps slash blockchain engineer who specializes in maintaining blockchains. Like in soccer, starting your own league can cost a lot of money. For replication and storage, this is collecting players and making teams. Now working in consensus, this is sending out flyers for awareness and organizing games. And the most expensive part, incentivization. This is making a trophy and a winning prize to attract players to play for your league. Paying for all of this, organizers, refs, stadium, and marketing can cost a lot of money. And this is where specialized DA layers like Celestia can help. Instead of going through the pain of creating your blockchain with a data availability layer, there are specialized blockchains whose only purpose is to provide data availability like Celestia. This specialized DA layers like Celestia become more cost efficient since you can share the cost of DA across the users of the chain. And as more people use blocks, this creates network effects and economies of scale. For a lot of people, it will be cheaper to use Celestia's DA than build your own blockchain. This specialization allows for more levels of security and decentralization. Light nodes that check DA through data availability sampling is something you can't do on a normal blockchain. So here are the levels of security that blockchain's data availability layers can have, starting from the lowest to the highest. Level 0, no data availability guarantee. Light clients can request a block header that can verify that the block exists, but has no guarantees that any data exists or the block being valid. Level 1, Data Availability Committee. A DA committee, which is a group of nodes that hold this data, can attest that this data is being available. You still have to trust that this data is available, but instead of trusting one person, you can have an honest majority assumption. Level 2, Data Availability Committee with Crypto Economic Incentives. Similar to level 1, but instead, there is a crypto economic incentive like stake that backs it up. This is where most layer 1s are at. This is good, but security only scales with the amount of money behind it. Level 3, Data Availability Sampling without an honest minority of light nodes. This is where Celestia's modular blockchain introduces Data Availability Sampling light nodes. I talk about it more in depth on my Celestia Explain video, but essentially, light nodes, instead of downloading the whole block to verify data availability, they can instead only sample small portions of a block and have high probabilities of that block being available. Level 3, you don't have an honest minority of light nodes. So, although you can detect that there is no data availability, there's not much you can do about it. Level 4, data availability sampling with an honest minority of light nodes. In level 4, similar to level 3, you can have a data availability sampling light nodes, but with an honest minority, you and other light nodes and full nodes can come together to reconstruct the block if an adversarial block producer is withholding data. Level 5, anonymous data availability sampling. Level 5 adds on top of all of that, but instead, data availability sampling is done anonymously, meaning adversarial block producers withholding data can't trick the first few light clients. And finally, full node. This is the highest level of security. Instead of trusting a data availability committee in levels 0, 1, and 2, or light clients that only partially sample data in levels 3, 4, and 5, full nodes download and verify full blocks. This is like fans paying to see the game in person. Everyone has a chance to do so, but this might be expensive or time-consuming for the average person. The innovation of Celestia is adding additional security levels with data availability sampling. All blockchains have the ability for you to run a full node, but as blockchains become more faster, scalable, require higher computation, and more expensive hardware, the normal person's ability to run a full node will diminish. But with data availability sampling, this gives normal people with cheap consumer-grade hardware high probabilities of data availability for themselves. This is sort of like soccer fans requesting clips of the game to make sure that they have fully recorded and broadcasted it. And this is what specialized DA layers like Celestia unlock for decentralization. Data availability is key for every blockchain, and it's amazing because it allows people like you and me to verify information in a decentralized fashion. I had a lot of fun talking about data availability, and hopefully you did too. And now you have a better understanding of blockchains, what data availability is and isn't, common misconceptions and requirements, DA layers, and the security levels that data availability layers can have. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, oh.